Hi, this is Mike with the last tutorial in the four part series about counting. Here I have a list of tutorials on the Excel Trainer website. Now some, not all of the tutorials, have a video associated with them. You can see from column D that the videos are all hosted on YouTube and I want to count how many videos I have. Now in the previous tutorial, I did this by adding an additional column. Let me show you. I've got it here and column D, I added a column and I typed in a Y where the tutorial had a video associated with it. And then in A1, I entered a function that counted how many Ys appeared in that particular column. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is to do the same thing, but not use that additional column. Now I've already created a table. So the table goes from A2 to D81 and I've named the table. So if I click into the table, go up to the design tab, I've named the table tutorials videos one. And I want to put the result of my function into A1. Now, just like the last tutorial, I'm going to use the count if function, which counts the number of times the cells in a given uh, range match a given criteria. Now, in this spreadsheet, the range is actually going to be column D in the table, although the column that's headed video URL and the criteria is going to be the cell contains the word YouTube. So start off with an equal sign as normal, put the name of the function, which is COUNTIF, open brackets. Now, as I said, the range is the video URL column in the table called Tutorials Videos 1. So as soon as I start typing TU, it gives me, um, because there's no cell called TU, it gives me the names of any ranges I've set up or the names of any tables I've set up. And the one I want is Tutorials Videos 1, so double click that. Open square bracket, and then it gives me the names of the headings from that table. And the one I want is Video URL, double click that. Close the square brackets. So that is the range I want it to look at, the video URL column in the table called video uh, tutorials of videos one. Then put a comma and we're going to put in the criteria. Now the criteria is that um, it must contain the word YouTube. And to do this, I'm going to use a wildcard character. I'm going to use the wildcard character asterisk. Now the asterisk represents any number of characters. So, for example, if I was to put asterisk youtube.com, that would mean the criteria is that youtube.com appears at the end of the cell entry. If I put youtube.com asterisk, then it means youtube.com appears at the start of the cell entry and I can have any characters after youtube.com. But in my case, YouTube.com appears somewhere within the, the cell entry. So I want to put asterisk YouTube.com asterisk. And the whole thing has to go in quotes because it's a text entry. Asterisk YouTube.com. In fact, I could just get away with YouTube. Asterisk. Then close my quotes close my brackets because that's the end of the function and press enter. And there we go, 33, which is correct. I could go down and count them, but uh, just take my word for it. There are 33 entries there. What I will do is I'll scroll back up to the top and I'll actually delete one of them and we should see that go to 32. Let's go back to where we can see the 33, go back to there delete one of them and it goes to 32. And the great thing is because I've used a table, it means that if I added a new tutorial, which I tend to do at the top, it still references the video URL column in the range or in the table tutorials video one. And that table now goes down to row 82.
So that brings us to the end of this tutorial and also to the end of the four part mini series of tutorials that cover counting the number of items in a list. I hope you found it useful and if you'd like more Excel training, please visit theexceltrainer.co.uk.